Carolyn Hagler finds inspiration through music, on stage with the Austin Symphony, and at home in her garden. It is there that she and her husband Glenn, a firefighter and musician, spend time with their children. Like music, her garden reflects creativity within structure. She likes improvisation, too. Musically, she's found it in Mundi, where director Daryl Myers wrote a composition for garden percussion. I'm into colors and, and music and art, and I think all these sorts of things are bring out the creative uh, juices and flow in people. When they bought the house, Carolyn saw the potential behind the front yard's dead facade. First, she planted evergreen shrubs for structure. After that, with rocks from her sister-in-law's ranch, she defined spaces for perennial and annual color. The perennials have the joy of every year watching and seeing how much bigger and more color colorful they're going to come back every year. And that I can divide and multiply the perennials and make my garden bigger. But then also there's things that just bloom, you know, for short blooming periods. And I love to have spot color throughout the garden that'll sort of last throughout the hot summer months. To subtly enclose the garden, Carolyn chose hedge roses for their continual flowering and compact form. Another specimen they call the friendship rose, like the sourdough starter. We have a rose in the very back of the garden that my father-in-law, Don Hagler from Dallas, had gotten from a friend of his who had gotten that from a friend of his, and we have multiplied this rose, I don't know how many hundreds of times this rose has been multiplied. A white crepe myrtle anchors the bed, its branches enriched with music and light. It looks lovely in the winter when it's sort of barren in that part of the yard. And uh, my husband finally told me a few weeks ago that we have enough bling for our bling tree, so we have renamed the tree the bling tree because of all the colors and sparkles that come from it. Carolyn laid a path to a secret garden under the tree. It's a perfect place to go in the hot summer and sit and be away from the heat and the sun and yet still have some beautiful colors around us. Do they snap? Yep, they snap. I didn't know they snapped. That's snap. why they call them a snapdragon. Oh, snap. I can snap in these out. A fountain near the front door refreshes all who enter. Carolyn wanted this statue since little boys fill her life. Twins Raymond and Aaron get hands-on in the garden, especially when Joshua built a tree house complete with all the amenities. It's been a great source of entertainment for our family and the neighbors' kids, too. Lou provides family entertainment along with organic pest control. My dog, Lou, is about 12 years old, and she's helped us plant many of the gardens we have here. She, she is uh, good at tilling up the soil, whether we need it done or not. And she's a big fan of the grub worm. So anytime we see a grub worm, the kids run over to the garden, Lou, Lou, I've got a grub worm. And so she comes over and it's this tasty delicacy for her dog to clean out all the grub worms in our garden. <laughs> Organics means a healthy place for the kids to explore, along with uplifting spirits for neighbors on the run. I love the community feel that you get when you drive through somebody's neighborhood and see wonderful colors and plants. It brings people together. For Carolyn, her family, garden, and music are intrinsic to her fulfillment. I am a musician, I am a cellist, and I have played cello most of my life. I had raised in a classical background where it's very structured, and I now play in a group called Mundi, and it's a, a wonderful Renaissance folk rock band that has allowed me the ability to be creative and improv a little bit and stray away from the traditional role of classical music. And I found that uh, that's true in my gardening as well. Uh, I like things structured in a lot of ways because that's kind of how I am. I like to be organized and structured. But I like the freedom of being able to do something that may not be quite right or maybe some people might look at it and think, I don't know about that, but I like different sizes and shapes and colors and uh, blending things and textures that maybe looks a little messy and a little neat at the same time. And uh, gardening helps me stay creative and I really enjoy, enjoy getting dirty and digging in the soil and just seeing what happens. <laughs>